The darkest hour of this planet is foretold to us in the apocalypse of the New Testament where we are told that in that last hour, the bowls of divine wrath will be poured out upon this planet. And we hear of this heavenly figure flying across the darkened sky announcing the final judgment of God with the repetition of one word singing what? Woe! Whoa, whoa! You don't want to be around when that bird starts to sing. <laughs> but you see what happens here in the sixth chapter of Isaiah? That one who is called of God and set apart, whose words, the very words of God are placed in his mouth, the first oracle that he pronounces is an oracle of doom upon himself. Woe is me. As soon as Isaiah sees the unveiled holiness of God, for the first time in Isaiah's life, he understands who God is. And the very second that Isaiah understood who God was, for the first time in his life, he understood who Isaiah was. And what came out of his mouth was something akin to a primordial scream where he curses himself. Woe is me for I am undone. I know the more modern translations use, for I am ruined. But I like this old one, undone, for this reason. If we look at what's happening here through the glasses of modern psychoanalysis, we could describe this experience that Isaiah relates as an experience of psychological disintegration. That is disintegration. We use words to describe a person who is healthy. We say that that person is whole. He has everything together. And when we see somebody who is losing it, we say what? He's falling apart. Isn't it interesting that an, a synonym that we use for virtue in our language is the word integrity. That is, that we have everything about our lives meshed together in a coherent and a consistent way. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the man who possesses the most integrity of the Jewish people who comes and gets one glimpse of the holiness of God and he immediately suffers disintegration. He comes apart. That's what happens to people who catch a glimpse of the character of God. Because do you see that we spend our entire lives veiling ourselves from the true character of God? Because our natural bent, our natural inclination, beloved, is to hide ourselves from Him. Because we know instinctively that as soon as the holy appears, it exposes and reveals anything and anyone who is not holy by virtue of that standard. 